Something we do every day is sit down and stand up a lot. And it's a perfect opportunity to practice having uh, stability of your core and your spine before you activate your glutes to stand up. So for example, if I'm, I'm sitting here in the chair, I can activate my core, you do a kegel, you slightly pull your tummy in, squeeze the shoulder blades together slightly, then I fire my glutes and I can stand up. And uh, um, that is the right way to stand up. And to sit down, you again, glutes, or sorry, um, core, glutes, and then you sit. If you don't have your core on, you let your, your stomach hang out, and you try to stand up, you actually put a lot of stress on your back. So what happens is that you actually have to pull up with your shoulders and it, your spine may s sway, and then your, your glutes may or may not fire. So it's okay if you do that once, you may not appreciate that you're creating an injury, but if you do that over and over again, 20, 30, 40 times a day, for 20 years, you're gonna wear out a joint. So um, a great visual, if I'm gonna try and sit properly here, so core, squeeze, glutes, on and down I go. Um, a great visual for this is to go back to our tensegrity system. You remember that we have the fascia, uh, which is the elastics, and the bones are the rods and the muscles pull on the fascia and the bones. And if there's motion in one se segment, it affects the other. So let's say that this is our core segment here and the rest is our spine. If the, the core is not um, under tension, you're gonna see that extra motion has to occur, else, occur elsewhere, which would be our spine, in order to get the tension here to allow the motion. So we would have to create this, this movement. If this is the, the um, lax core, this movement is all extra motion that's occurring in your spine before you would actually stand up. So you want to eliminate the extra motion by having your spine in the correct position and your core activated before you stand up or sit down. Thank you.